What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Matic here. Today we're going to be talking about Urgot. Um, pretty fun League of Legends champion. Unique gameplay, etc. Abilities are always fun. And um, I use him personally, and the spells that I use with him is Flash and Exhaust. Um, I'm going to explain these here, but Flash is to basically get like a quick getaway or um, to jump like in front of opponents and help out teammates if they're stranded, etc. And I, um, I always use the example here of like some people being trapped in Dragon, like your team and you can quickly jump over the wall with flash and maybe save them otherwise you wouldn't have had the chance to do if you had to walk around right that also works in reverse exhaust to slow down people that are running from you or maybe to slow down somebody that's chasing you so those are the two spells right there um, maybe just give those two a thought maybe you would like ignite instead of exhaust or you would like ghost instead of flash etc just use what's best for you but that's what I find is personally best for me so uh the second slide here I, I thought I would um, show everybody all the stats Health, health regen, mana, armor, attack damage, attack speed, ability power, etc. Life steal. Um, as you can see, his health is all right. It's about average. Attack damage is okay. Um, it, he's he doesn't have the best stats, right? But he is um, well mannered in the way that everything has at least a decent amount. You know, like some people don't even have magic resist, like some champions like him or tenacity, etc. So he does his stuff well. Plus, his cooldown reduction is fairly decent. Now. Here's all list of items, the pretty much standard build for you to follow, but what I'm going to say here is, you're going to want these couple items for sure. Mercury's Treads, Bloodthirster, and Last Whisper, um, and Frozen Heart, right? Other than that, I vary depending on the game, but those four, um, the majority of time, you're going to want to use those. Um, Frozen Heart just for like the armor, Last Whisper for armor penetration, Bloodthirster for damage, etc. And on Mercury's Treads, <clears throat> of course you're never really going to switch that up. So, explaining the runes here, you have three quints of armor penetration, which means no matter how much armor they buy, you're still going to get through it. Nine marks of armor penetration, same thing. Nine seals of armor, which just builds up a ton of armor for you. Nine glyphs of scaling magic resist, which, um, so you're not as susceptible to uh, AP. Here is his ability sequence. You're going to want to max out his Q first, his W next, and his E last, and you're going to want to pick up your ult, uh, obviously, on level 6, 11, and 16. So here are some of his pros. He has a strong early game. He's a great farmer. Great harass from high distances. Some of his cons, no real natural escape, which is why I put in the flash. Mana dependent, easily countered by armor. So um, taking a look at his offense and defense here, you can see we didn't put anything in utility, of course. So we're going to want to put most of the points in offense. And uh, just a little smidgen in the uh, defense here. Mainly because he does a lot of damage, and that's why we're going to give him that. And um, defense 9. Um, just for that little tiny bit of defense. So there's the guide. I hope it helped. It is a beginner's guide after all, so if you're a pro, I wouldn't really expect you to learn anything from that. But if you did enjoy it anyway, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.